Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full review on the Kira crossbody bag in the, I believe, medium size. It is very difficult to find in the color that I have now, but there's, but it is still available in certain stores. So we're gonna go over that, the price, what I paid, and everything I love about the bag. So without further ado, let's get started. You know what time it is. All right, today's outfit of the day. I made a short video on this, is my turquoise vintage new tank top, my Adidas shorts, they're like track shorts, lounge shorts, and this beautiful Alma BB in the turquoise color from Louis Vuitton, obsessed. Oh, and a studded bracelet, and my studded Doc Martens. So here's the full outfit. If you wanna see it in the mirror, you can go and check out my short on it. It, it looks like I'm a blueberry, honestly, but, I don't care, I like to have fun with fashion. I think if you're not gonna have fun with fashion, what's the point? So now let's get into the Kira Crossbody from Tor Tori Birch, excuse me. It is one of my favorite bags and it also matches with this outfit. So here we go, it comes in a dust bag and it says Tori Birch on the side right here. It is a nice dust bag, it's not like the best, but it's nice. And then this is the color. It's a little bit, showing up a little bit lighter today because the lighting is different than normal, but it is a Tiffany blue, a Tiffany powder blue. And this is sold out on Tory Burch as far as I can tell, unless I'm not looking in the right section. This was heavily discounted over the 4th of July weekend. So if you missed that, you can still get it and I'm gonna tell you where and I'll put screenshots shots up so you can see where to get it. But this bag, is one of my favorite bags. I paid full price, which was around $5.24, I believe. I believe I paid $5.48. And the reason why is because I live in Texas, it's very hot, and I was concerned that if I had this bag shipped to me from Tory Burch, that it would come damaged, melted, something like that. It has happened to me before, so if you live in a hotter climate, just keep that in mind. This is delicate leather. I am not 100% sure if this is like a lambskin, but it feels very delicate. It has scratched. I do have a couple of scratches on here because obviously I've worn it and I've loved it. Let's do a tour of the bag first. Strap, it has a leather shoulder part right there. Here's the back, here's the front. It has the T for Tory Burch on it. No feet on the bottom. I do still have a video of this on my channel, an unboxing and another video of this if you want more details on the bag. This is the inside. It has one, two, pocket, a zip pocket in the back. Here, you can probably hear my kids in the background. <laughs> They're doing crafts downstairs. It says Tory Birch right there. And I like that they have a zipper pocket in the back so that you can put things in there like your wallet or something important so that people can't access it. This is a magnetic closure. And one of the things I love about this bag is that if you want to make it into a crossbody bag and not have it as a shoulder bag, that's all you do. Very simple, very straightforward, super easy to use very user friendly and i love the silver chain it is bulky it's not a thin chain so it is absolutely perfect for my life's lifestyle because i am taller and i don't like a lot of really dainty chains i like things that are bigger or interwoven chanel's great so that's what it looks like on it is the perfect size i am five six and a half almost five seven for reference and it drops right on my hip and a little bit lower. And then if you want to use it as a shoulder bag, that's what it looks like. Not my preferred way to wear it, but it's still nice if you like using shoulder bags. So why do I love this bag so much? Honestly, it's the functionality, it's the fact that it's so user-friendly and the combination of the color with the silver hardware. This is one of my favorite colors. I love Tiffany blue. And I love silver hardware. So when this came out, I just immediately, soon as it came out and I saw the collection, I jumped on it. I knew that it was going to be perfect for me. If you've seen my unboxing video of this, you know how excited I was and I have used it multiple times already. 
So now that I've told you why I love this bag so much, I am going to tell you where to buy it because I don't believe it's on Tory Burch website anymore. The only place that I found this was Bloomingdale's and I believe Neiman Marcus might also have it. So if you would like to get this bag, it is now heavily discounted at 324 instead of 528. And some places will also give you an extra 15 or 10% off if you join with an email, you know, you become a member, blah, blah, blah. So I think that you could probably still find this bag for almost 50% off. And if you're gonna do it, you better do it soon because this bag is hot, 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 and it is going fast. And I can tell you that if you love blue and you love silver hardware, you need this bag. And in terms of wear and tear, honestly, apart from a couple of scratches that was just my own fault because I have sharp nails and I, I do give myself manicures quite often, but my nails were just very sharp. They're naturally sharp and I, I scratched it. I can't even find it right now, but it's on there somewhere. So. The fact that I scratched it and now you can't even see it means that I either buffed it out, it naturally buffed out, or it's just not very apparent because this bag has wrinkles to it. And I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. It's not, it doesn't completely collapse on itself, so it does have structure, but it's definitely mushy enough to where if you do something to it, it won't get destroyed. Like it's not gonna get a puncture through it like some other bags might. It is so nice. And I just can't say enough good things about this Tory Burch bag. All right, so if I have found any other places that this is available at this point, I will pop them up right here for you guys. But it is definitely going fast. So again, if you want this bag, please don't hesitate. It is so heavily discounted and I'm not unhappy that I got it when I got it and I paid full price. I'm not unhappy about it at all because I knew that I wanted it and I did want this specific bag. I didn't want to get a different one. I saw this on display and I knew I wanted this specific bag. I fell in love with it. And when you fall in love with something and you already know you want it and you have the money and you don't have to, you know, put it on credit, I feel like just go ahead and get it. You know, you're going to use it. You know, you're going to love it. Just do it. Okay guys, that was my video going over why I love this Kira crossbody bag so much. And let me know in the comments below if you're obsessed with this bag as much as I am, this Alma BB. I love the Alma BB. I plan on getting more, I do, but I plan on getting a lot of brighter colors. So let me know in the comments below. Do you love this bag? Do you love this bag? Do you plan on getting one of these or getting this one do it fast i don't even know if they have this one anymore this was a limited edition collection i can't remember if it was by the pool or what it was but this was a summer collection i believe don't quote me on that and i am so happy that i snagged it when i did my essay was like i've never seen any of these in our store except for this one and i had seen it in la and i didn't buy it in la because of the taxes being so high so i'm so happy that i got this one i did and i'm so happy that i got this one when i did if you would like to see a blue handbags collection video, or if you would like me to compare these two bags to each other, please comment below. Please comment below any of your questions, or if you would like me to make that video for you comparing these two bags. I feel like they could be similar. They do have kind of similar shapes and they do hold about the same amount, but they are quite different as this is a top handle and this is purely a shoulder or crossbody. So I'm not sure if making a comparison video would really be that helpful, but if you want me to make it, I'll do it. Comment below. So that's my video. As always, give me a big thumbs up. And if you like content like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.